Hey everyone, uh, welcome to not quite a spook with scoops, but uh, a quick look of Montague's Mount, uh, which I've been meaning to look at for about a week now. I kind of got stuck on a puzzle uh, and recently just got past it, uh, so I thought this was the perfect time to jump into the game uh, and take a look at it. It's been kind of teased as a horror game for October, but unless something radically changes in well, what we're about to jump into, uh, I would say there are, I guess it could be kind of tense, it really hasn't generated any real tension for me, but I can see why they might classify it under horror in a certain way. Anyway, we should just jump in and I can show you what I'm talking about. Um, so I've gotten a couple puzzles into the game. Uh, I've lowered the bridge. I guess by, with this game considered scary, it's like, well, maybe every once in a while there are ghost children. So I just got finished kind of exploring this area. I had to do some wackiness with some lights. And I actually had to convert Morse code using a code on the wall in order to uh, solve this bridge puzzle. Just really slowly waiting for this bridge to come down. Uh, so the, the game opens with you having... It seems like you've crash landed here. Like maybe you're on a boat. Uh, you appear on uh, a beach uh, back here, um, and uh, there's a bunch of stuff kind of strewn about the the beach. And it's unclear if any of it's yours or if it's all of someone else's. Uh, the game constantly is there'll be a narrator. I bet that it picks up in a moment here. Uh, kind of constantly second guessing what he sees in front of him, uh, and. Uh, whether these memories of being on this island are, are in fact things that are happening now or something that might have happened uh, in the past. I just... Is there a light switch? Nope. Oh, hey. Seems power is an issue on the island, so you kind of are constantly having to, or not constantly, but uh, I have had to. Okay, I'll have to find a find that. So far, the game is heavily puzzle based. Uh, you are always going around trying to find you know, some way to keep moving forward. Let's see what's on the other side before we actually progress past. Looks like we are locked out, so we're gonna head down towards what was it? Fisherman's Beach. We'll come back for that uh, combination later, I guess. No flashlights, no anything like that. As far as I can tell, this is not a game that actually has enemies. Uh, that doesn't even be uh, appear to be a way to run. I guess if I sound slightly disappointed about the game so far, well, it is because when you when you start classifying a game as horror, uh, I think there are certain expectations that come with that that this game has not met yet. Uh, if you wanted to say it is a an adventure game uh, that maybe is a little spooky, I suppose uh, that would be a better classification. You know, maybe a, th a thriller would even be probably stretching and I, I had a couple questions of that from people on Tumblr. Certain certain films that I think you might call horror films would probably be classified technically as thrillers and I, I don't know. I, I don't worry too much about genre distinctions like that when it comes to... Alright. Uh, when it comes to talking uh, to the genre I, I think it you start getting bogged down in weird nonsense in the same way that when trying to talk about video game genres uh, I think uh, it's kind of wacky. I thought that might have been a body for a second there. You know, that's why I, I've been glad that since I've been part of Giant Bomb, you know, there aren't like specific genre award category. Oh, that noise is.
movable post. If I use this. to be what I can use. Can I, I can't get into the water here at all. It also appears my your character is sick. He coughs a lot. Uh, he also injured himself at the very beginning. I had to find a a walking stick in order to allow him to move forward. I feel like maybe I might have just missed where I'm supposed to use and handle? I don't know. Maybe not. You also move very slowly in this game, so if you decide to kind of go looking around at stuff, uh, it can be a little problematic because uh, it kind of takes a while to get back. Uh, there's also, I guess, technically Oculus Rift support in this game. I, I, I believe I saw that listed, but I don't know. It, it didn't seem, even though I've got one sitting right next to me, it, it didn't seem necessary to try and check out how that might work. It seemed like there was a whole lot else I could do. Is this a different... You have found a secret area. Just stone, okay. Well, that secret areas don't help me progress. Log pile. Let me go back. Maybe I missed something over there. When I had the uh, the handle pulled up, uh, looks some visual glitches here and there. But yeah, I think the game does generate a pretty decent oppressive atmosphere. Um, you know, the parts that I'm showing here, we... It does have some performance issues. Uh, I have noticed for the level of fidelity that we're talking about here, but... So, if I can use something on something, it should come up with a... a hand not appear that I'm getting any sort of hand prompt here. Oh, here we go. What's this? The gate slowly creaks to life. Checkpoint! Look at us solving puzzles. Uh, everything in general in this game seems to kind of move at uh, an exceedingly slow pace. Uh, almost like a a mist-like slowness that, uh... When you're mad, mad like this, you don't know it. Reality is what you see. When you see shifts departing from anyone else's reality, it's still reality to you. That's actually a pretty horrifying quote. If you think about it. Uh, but like... Okay, alright. doing up there. Hey, buddy. Uh... Oh. He's gone. Fifty-five, ten, fourteen... 82. Let's write that down. <coughs> 55, 10, 14, 82. Is, is that. Maybe that's going to be the combination? And then what's on inside the, the box is probably what I'm going to put in there. 
But here is going to be, <laughs> like I just said, um, if that is in, indeed a combination, as I suspect. Let's take a look around and see if there's anything else I might have missed. Okay, here we go. A rusty old safe. Ten. <coughs> Fourteen. Oh, it doesn't matter which direction I go in. Uh, I was going to say, w this might have been an instance where <laughs> it, it would have been kind of nuts because if you remember the safe that we encountered uh, back in the previous area, it would probably take me a good two or three minutes to, to get all the way back there. And I'm still sort of suspecting that the game is going to make me do that. I don't know if this will be enough, enough weights to make that peculiar wooden thread. Okay. okay. Seem to be missing an object. <sighs> Let's just double check that it's not in that safe. Nothing else in there? Oh, that's a bummer. Is it really just going to be the same? The same combination? So now we're going to walk all the way back there. And I'll be honest, if. <laughs> If that combination that I wrote down does not work on that safe, uh, I'm just flat out turning this off. I haven't had a whole lot of patience for this game. I got kind of dangerously close to just saying, screw it, we're not going to do this quick look. Uh, mostly just because the game has done very little to sustain my interest. Uh, the little bits that I think it does do pretty effectively uh, are sort of outmaneuvered by the parts that I don't think it does particularly well. And it's stuff like this, like slowly going back to having to get to that safe. There's no fast travel to speak of, because that wouldn't make any sense. You know, it's it is a or trying to be at the very least a moody, atmospheric game. So the idea that you'd be able to just kind of run along, oh, that's me going in the wrong direction. You know, w would be contradictory to sort of what everything else in the game sets itself up to do, but nonetheless, you know, this isn't particularly fun. Uh, you're not running from enemies, so you don't have any sort of, well, maybe something's going to happen here, but you know, I guess that's kind of creepy. I don't, you know, occasionally you hear those kind of gasps of a child, but those seem to be completely irregular. Alright, I wish I could just type this into the keyboard, but I can't. So, let's try it again. 55. 10. Fourteen. Eighty-two. Humana, 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 humana. This better work. This combination seems incorrect. Uh, maybe. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Is there something around here that I missed? Maybe I actually was complaining about something that I could have taken care of before I, I got to that next section. Hmm. 
This thing seems to be kind of moving. Can I move this painting out of the way? Nope. Ooh, there's something down there. No. That might be a piece of paper or something. Life ring. Uh, oh, here we go. Ah, son of a bitch. Oh, I can't grab that. 24, 52, 12, 67. Well, I'm sorry, game. I guess I take back this specific instance. Um, but I don't know. I don't, I don't. I guess I don't really take it back because the fact that it does take so long in order to get back just to try and correct a mistake and or an oversight. I mean, obviously, it's not like the game was shouting for me to check out that that drawer. So the amount of time I have to spend. Coming back in order to get to this this spot is is you know, still undeniably a little frustrating. It just creates a slower pace for the game that I don't think is necessarily compatible with uh, with its gameplay. I think it is it is too slow, uh, and and the atmosphere isn't enough to sort of carry the day. You know, you play a game like Amnesia that is, you know, encounter-based, um, but the atmosphere carries a lot of what's happening around you, and the two work in concert. You know, if you want to see a game where the intertwining systems uh, collaborate to create a whole, Amnesia is an excellent example of that. And a lack of systems is not inherently a bad thing, but then the parts that you are doing have to kind of take over um, and you know the kinds of games that I check out constantly you know I'm very easy for me to overlook technical hiccups and and other issues in, in design if there are particular aspects of a game that are are, are a strength worth overlooking uh, its problems but uh, you know, Montague's Mount has not made a per <laughs> particularly great case for that and I'm really hoping that now I'll just put this in here and as we bring this to a close, maybe we'll discover the secret of the vanishing child and also, like, the secret behind the constant clipping, popping in geometry. No, that's not it. What else could we be missing here? Particular wooden thread with a hole through it. Okay. Well, obviously it's not the object that I just got out of that safe look around for a second, but... Ooh, game. I wanted to see what was behind door number one, but I don't know if I want to see it that bad. Uh, anything in this buoy? Maybe I can go back and grab uh, the piece out of that that fence. I apologize, everyone. I thought I had it together. I thought we were going to see what happened to the boy, but Montague's Mount apparently has uh, other plans for us, which involve us slowly going up and down this... Oh, wait. Small plate. Okay. Do I have to collect several of these? But how many do I have to collect? Oh. Okay. All right. 
let's just we'll comb this very quickly make sure we're not missing anything else gotten lucky here can't grab that back I don't see anything on the ground there okay I'm gonna go ahead and take a uh, roll the dice I'm gonna hope that these three objects are what we need I should sit here and hold the shift key and just desperately wish I could run. I mean, I get why I can't, because the character hurt his leg, and we're just supposed to be technically hobbling along, so of course he can't run, but... But I will sit here and I will sigh about it nonetheless. Nonetheless. Okay. Got that in. I don't know what I needed this for, then. Everything opens slowly in Montague's mouth. Everything just can't open. Uh-huh. Keep going. Yep. Don't stop. Let's say one more, one more push. Oh, okay. Checkpoint. All right. Let's see what's behind here. What did we do all that uh, traversing around for? Well, looks like we're gonna have a story moment. Story time with Montague's mount. Montague. Montague. They're going to ask me to contribute to some charity link at the end of this, aren't they? This is an extremely long pan. This might as well be a montage at this point. game is extremely proud of its high resolution photographs. And hey, I'm with you, game. I love high res photographs too. Gone Home. What was the other one? Dead VHS Video Heroes. That game had excellent high res photography. High res textures, I don't know. We need to come up with like a specific classification of games that have ridiculous high res textures. Alright, this slow pan unearned and there are like weird things floating in the corner because my inventory is still technically pulled up yeah I need to remember ah I need to remember. I need to remember to not play this game again but I don't think that's gonna be very difficult to pull off um, I'm assuming this is not gonna be some elaborate puzzle I'm supposed to work on and uh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to play any more of this game. And I'm going to stop because I'm allowed to do that. That's Montague's Mount. Uh, it's uh, Montague, Montague. Another piece. I don't, no, I don't want to see what else is beyond here. I really don't. Um, it's available on Steam now if, if for some reason this uh, looked appealing to you. Uh, if someone gets further than me and is there something worthwhile checking out, Please let me know. Well, I'm always happy to go back to something, but right now, I think I gotta turn this off. I wanna go watch a horror film. I gotta do something else. That's my Mount. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.